Fear Zone, your channel of horror stories. And now we go to today's story, which is from Mr. Andre, and this happened to him in the city of Alfinas, which is in Brazil, and at that time, which was in the year 2005, Mr. Andre was 22 years old. Today, I am going to talk about something that happened to me when I went to help a friend of mine in the wee hours of the morning for something impressive and supernatural happened in front of me and the danger of terror surrounded me that day. And it all starts like this. At that time I was already a man, but still quite young, and sometimes I worked helping a caretaker who lived on a farm near my neighborhood. One night, I was in a bar drinking with some friends, and it was that suddenly, an old man that I knew appeared in the bar, and he told us a strange thing. This old man said that he was going home, and he had to cross a creek to get to his neighborhood, and that's when he saw something on the other side of the creek, and it was a kind of big animal coming out of the bush, and it was on four legs, and this old man seeing that this animal could be very dangerous, he hid behind some bushes, and he stood still just watching that beast, and suddenly the creature came down the creek, but he didn't cross over there because of the water, but what happened? Is that the creature stood up like a man, and started to walk on two legs, and it was already passing through a part of the creek where there was little water, and then this werewolf crossed the creek, and started to sniff the air in the direction of the old man, but the creature hid in the bushes, and so, everything started to get dangerous, and that gentleman wouldn't wait for the werewolf to find him. And he was walking quietly through the woods, and he got close to a street, and he stayed hidden, and looking around, to see where the werewolf was hiding, and that's when he saw that creature again. And the most impressive thing is that the werewolf was already in that place where the old man was hiding before, when he had seen the werewolf trying to cross the creek, and that farmer was thankful that he had left that place, because if he had stayed there, in that part of the bush near the creek, the werewolf would have found him. Well, and as soon as this farmer took advantage that the werewolf was distracted, trying to find him in the woods, the old man managed to escape to a nearby neighborhood. And he warned us not to walk at night near the woods, so that we wouldn't run the risk of finding this werewolf in front of us. Anyway, I was not worried about this story that this man told me, because he sometimes got drunk and always returned to his house at night. So the days went by, and one night, I was in front of my house, but suddenly a man walked by my street, and soon he stopped on the street, and started looking inside his bag, and it seemed that there was a chicken or a live animal inside this bag. Anyway, this guy then continued walking along the road, and then he went into a bush. Next, I saw a friend of mine walking down the street, and he looked like he was looking for something, so I went to talk to him, and this friend of mine told me that he was looking for a suspicious man with a bag because his son said that he saw this suspect stealing a chicken from his yard. Well, I told him about this strange guy who was carrying something in a bag and that he had gone into the bushes. In this conversation, we decided to go into the bushes to follow the suspect and catch him in the act. However, the farmer and I entered the underbrush and started looking for the man with the bag, but the underbrush was very dark and we couldn't see anything. But after walking a bit through the woods, we saw a light from afar, and it seemed to be a bonfire, so we went in the direction of this fire. As soon as we got to the place of the fire, we didn't see anyone, but there by the fire, the suspect's bag was nearby, we looked inside the bag, and indeed my friend's chicken was inside this bag, so my friend and I climbed a nearby tree to wait for the suspect to come back for the chicken so we could capture him, and we left the bag with the chicken inside in the same place. But while we were up in the tree, I saw some clothes lying on the ground nearby, and I started to think it was strange, 
because they were the clothes of the man in the bag. After half an hour, we were up in the tree waiting for the suspect, but we heard some noises in the bushes, and to our surprise, we saw a strange animal coming close to the bag, and it was a bizarre kind of dog, but it was very big too. At this time, I was amazed to see this creature. But this beast, to our surprise, he got down on his knees, as if he were a person, and tore the bag with his hands, and I thought, this creature is a werewolf. Then, this werewolf held the bird with his hands, and it stood upright like people, only on two legs, and in a short time the werewolf ate the whole chicken. I was very afraid, because this beast looked like a hairy devil. Finally, this werewolf became suspicious of something, for he began to sniff the air, but the burning fire prevented him from getting close to our tree. But to our luck, and this werewolf stood on four legs and disappeared into the undergrowth, so we decided to stay in the tree, because we didn't want to run the risk of going down and the werewolf catching us. But what happened is that we spent the whole dawn on top of the tree, and the creature didn't come back, but as soon as it came daylight, we decided and got down from the tree, but we started running fast through the bushes to get out of that place, and in all this running, we saw something running in front of us too. I thought it was the werewolf, and stopped running in that direction, but on a better look, it was that man with the bag, but he was naked and without clothes, and running in the bushes too. He thought we were chasing him, and he disappeared into the bushes. But finally, we were so scared that we left this suspect behind and kept running. However, after a lot of running, we managed to get to my house. And more calmly, my friend and I talked about the werewolf, and of course, we came to the conclusion that the chicken thief was the werewolf. The fact is, I was amazed at what I saw, and thinking about this situation, that surely the people in the region were at risk of that animal walking through the village. As the days passed, my friend and I looked for the guy who was turning into a werewolf in my neighborhood, but we couldn't find him, and maybe the suspect who was running naked in the woods already understood that we knew he was the werewolf, and that's why he disappeared, not to be hunted by us. And for me too, this guy was the same werewolf that the old man in the bar saw near the creek. But years have passed of this horror story of mine, and nowadays, sometimes, I am reminded of those images of the wanderer and the werewolf, and this keeps me on my toes, because these creatures are real and they attack people. Thanks for watching the video, and if you like the story, leave your like and subscribe to the Fear Zone channel until the next scary werewolf story. Fear Zone, your channel of scary stories. And now we go to the story of today, which is of Mr. Andre. And this happened to him in the city of Rio Claro, which is in Brazil, and at that time, which was in the year 2008, Mr. Andre was 41 years old. And everything starts like this, I live in a normal neighborhood in my city, where there are many houses, but at that time, I worked in a company that was on a highway in the city, and as I worked until 10 o'clock at night in this service, I would only get home around midnight. But now I will tell you what happened to me on a certain day, which was like this. I was returning from my job at night with my automobile, and then I went to a snack bar to buy some snacks for my family, and as soon as I left this place, it was almost one o'clock in the morning. The fact is, I took my way to my neighborhood, but the place that I passed with my car was to cut through the roads and get to my house faster. Well... The roads were all dirt, and everything was normal as usual, but it was very dark in that place. By the time I got to a part of that road, I saw something running by on that dirt road, and the strange thing was that it was an animal that looked like a big dog. I was surprised, because this animal was carrying a kind of goat in its mouth, 
and as this animal was a little scared by the light of the headlight, this animal ended up releasing this goat in the middle of the street that I was passing, and this beast went into the forest, it seemed that it had disappeared. But of course, I didn't get out of the car, because I wasn't so sure that it was a dog that crossed in front of me, it could be some kind of dangerous animal. At that moment, I couldn't go through that road, because the goat that was lying on the ground was still alive and this animal, it tried to get up and fell down, and of course it was really hurt, and I could see all this with the headlight of my car. So, I thought I would get out of the car, to get this goat off the road, and of course, I kept looking around the surrounding woods, to see if I could find this dog-like creature around, because I was still scared of it. While I was trying to see something, I didn't see the creature anymore, and what I did was to get closer to the animal in the middle of the road. However, I ended up getting out of my car, and even though I was scared of that place, which is only of dark forest, and with many trees around, I walked with fear to where the goat was lying, and soon I grabbed the legs of that animal, and I was dragging it to the side of the road. But then, something happened because I just heard some footsteps near me, and when I looked, it was an animal, which jumped from a small ravine, and advanced towards me, with the attack of this beast, which seemed to be something huge, I ended up rolling on the ground with that impact, at the time or I got up quickly, to see what tried to catch me, and when I look at it, I got scared as it was in front of me, and it was a huge and strange creature, because it wasn't a dog at all, and it seemed to be more of a deformed monkey. What caused fear is that it seemed to be a supernatural creature because of the glow it had in its eyes. The problem was that I couldn't run and get into my car because this beast was very close to the car door, which I had left open. In this hour of danger, when this creature was surrounding me, I put my hand in my pocket to get a pocket knife and to defend myself and then I was surprised, because this animal stopped, he started to look at me, he kept looking at my hand, kind of thinking I was reaching for a gun in my waistband, and I realized this, I put my hand in my waistband, and pretended to have a gun, but to my amazement, what that creature did, was something unbelievable, this animal stood on two legs only, and he shivered his hair, and started growling low and angry to see if it would make me run away in fear of him, but I didn't fall for the monster's deception. I took my wallet, which was black in my back pocket, and put it in the front of my pants, and pretended that I was going to take my gun from the waistband of my pants, and when I did that, the creature got scared and ran standing behind my car, and I also got scared with the reaction of that animal and ran to the bush, which was on the side of the road, and hid myself there, and stayed quiet, so that the werewolf wouldn't see me there. And I say that this creature was one of those, because it stood upright like a man, and could walk on two legs, and it had ears like a dog's, and its body was all hairy with a dark color, and this creature was about the same size as an adult person, but its appearance was of a very thin creature, so for me, this monster was a werewolf. But apart from this description, what I did is that I stayed there near the edge of the road crouched in the bush, just looking and seeing where the werewolf could be. I even looked near my car, because I thought that this creature could have entered inside my car, but fortunately, I didn't see this werewolf anymore, and I waited about ten more minutes. Soon a car passed by on the road, and by the light of the headlight, I saw the figure of this creature far away. With that, I ran towards my automobile, and got into my car, and soon started it, and managed to get off that road all terrified with what I had gone through. Anyway, I arrived at my house, and I was already at my residence, and I kept thinking about this situation, in which I was attacked by a werewolf, and I might not even be alive now, and this creature is not that supernatural, because this beast was flesh and blood, 
and is afraid of firearms because this is what saved me that I pretended to be armed and so I managed to fool this beast threatening him. But the point is the werewolf understands what a firearm is and this shows the intelligence of this creature. Of course, after this experience, I began to reason also, if this creature would be a man and transform itself into a creature, and this I don't know yet, but I know that this beast exists, and it is real. However, days went by, and I never again walked down that dirt road where I had this experience with the werewolf. But one day, on a TV news program, some police officers shot a maimed wolf in a farm near my neighborhood. I found this very strange, because I have never heard of these animals in my city, and also, the maimed wolves are not allowed to be killed, because they are an endangered animal. Other than that, the maimed wolf is a calm animal and doesn't attack people. I found it strange that these policemen killed this animal, but I suspect that it was the werewolf that the policeman killed. But at least, I haven't heard anyone talking about this werewolf. And I don't want to see this creature ever again. Thank you for watching the video, and if you like it, please like, share this story, and also, subscribe to our Fear Zone channel to receive new videos every week. See you next time.